Hello, Sofa Squad. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. As you saw from the title that you clicked when you were scrolling through your phone, because you're probably bored and looking for something to do, well, here I am. We are going to be discussing some Jennifer Dulos updates. There's a few things going on here. Unfortunately, I'm not reporting that we have found Jennifer Dulos. That obviously would be the best update. This case just gets more interesting. And so, without further ado, let's get into it. first update we're going to go over is about the husband, the alleged, I don't know what you would call him in this. Uh, he hasn't been charged with her disappearance yet, but he has been charging it with tampering with evidence and things of this nature. Uh, but him and his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and Fotis wants to see his girlfriend again. And I find this to be very interesting. So we're going to just read through this article and talk about it a little bit. So an attorney for uh, Mr. Dulos filed a motion at the court Monday asking for a judge to clarify the conditions of his release from jail so he could possibly reunite with Draconis. And it reads, Mr. Dulos would like to explore the possibility of reunification with Draconis, but is concerned such efforts may run afoul of court orders absent a clarification. Defense attorney Norman Pattis wrote in the motion filed in Connecticut Superior Court, the news outlet reported. Um, now, their official charges were evidence tampering and hindering prosecution in connection with Jennifer's May 24th disappearance. So, you know, they both pleaded not, they both pleaded not guilty. They're both out on bail. So, Pat has filed this motion after last Sunday, Tracona stopped by Fotis' home in Farmington to pick up some of her belongings. Now, the attorneys coordinated this visit, and um, he was not present at the home when she came by. So, you know, it all seems very suspicious to me. So, in this, Traconis was heard, overheard on Sunday saying that she loves Mr. Dulos and that she does not believe he played a role in Jennifer's disappearance. Uh, she feels badly that Mr. Dulos has been accused of foul play. Pattis wrote in the motion, Mr. Dulos would like to make contact with Ms. Traconis to thank her for her kind words. I mean, really, y'all? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's not it's not any laughing matter, but it's, I mean, these, these people are laughing matters. Here's my thing before we go any further with this. You know, I personally think the way that the lawyer is going with this is basically if you can't properly identify them on videotape, then it's not them. And so, therefore, if you take that evidence out, they really don't have any evidence. So, as far as them being connected. Now, when we get into the DNA, to the blood, to the cleanup, I mean, it's all very damning circumstantial evidence. And... Uh, to me, it's just, it, it immediately is, you know, uh, okay, well, why were you seen doing this? But like I said, if they can't properly identify them, it's going to be, it's going to snag things up for them, in my opinion. The whole aspect that they're sitting here and playing this little innocent, he wants to thank her for her words. Really? Uh, you don't think they have anything else to talk about? You know what I'm saying? Because here's one thing with these situations is these people get together and start, you know, finagling stuff, which I think they already have personally. Um, I mean, through their attorneys and stuff like that. So someone's probably going to go down for the situation. And whether she gets thrown in there or not, you know, because she passed that polygraph, uh, you know, I think it's hard to really identify her. Now, with him having the um, license plates thrown in that uh, the gutter or the drainage or whatever that were connected back to him, I mean, all this stuff is very, you know, tying him to the whole scene. So, but that kind of ridiculousness there of Miss, uh, Mr. Dulos would like to make contact with Mr. Kronos to thank her for her kind words. I'm like, let's, let's not play these games, people. I mean, don't, you know what it is more than that? It's don't act like the judge is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, really? So, anyways, let's continue. I'm getting off my soapbox. The article kind of just ends right there. Well, it doesn't end right there. It just goes on to say, which we're going to get into this in a minute. And I guess this could be the segue for that. So, Pat has told the Post on Sunday that the Mama 5 may have staged her own disappearance in a plot similar to Gone Girl. And a family spokesman for Jennifer on Monday called that just false and irresponsible, which, I mean, I completely agree. And so, let's go ahead and talk about that part of the update so we can discuss that. Okay, so in regards to these statements about her, you know, being, you know, the real life I've gone girl. Uh, of course, the fam Jennifer's family lawyer is basically just like, you know, this is ridiculous. Um, and there, there's been a backlash after 
his attorneys have said, uh, meaning Mr. Dulos says, uh, that she had the imagination, means, and motive to disappear. Now, one thing that that is in reference to is Mr. Norman Pattis, and again, that's his lawyer, uh, said that Jennifer Dulos once wrote a novel similar to Gone Girl, uh, which was that 2012 uh, book and movie in which a wife staged her own disappearance to frame her husband for murder. Uh, and so apparently Jennifer wrote a book similar to this. So here's the official statement that Pattis made about it. We are continuing our investigation of Ms. Dulos' disappearance and believe it to be an entirely consistent... Start over. So here is Norman Pattis' actual statement that he said that in. We are continuing our investigation of Ms. Dulos' disappearance and believe it to be entirely consistent consistent with the evidence to conclude that she was not a victim of foul play at the hands of third parties. Efforts to distance Miss Dulos from a Gone Girl type scenario are well-meaning, to be sure. But the fact remains that Miss Dulos' remains uh, accountably gone and had the imagination, means, and motive to disappear, Pat has said in a statement. You know, and the, the, her family's you know, spokesperson said it makes no sense, which I agree. And the spokesperson said that Jennifer wrote that book nearly two decades ago before Gone Girl was published and before she was dating Fotis Dulos. Jennifer's novel is not a mystery. It's a character-driven story that follows a young woman through relationships and self-discovery over a period of years. Evidence shows that Jennifer was the victim of a violent attack in her new Canaan home. And I mean, and I agree with that. I mean, that's where I come to. I'm just like, that's, I mean, what I think. So, I mean, here's my thing when you make statements such as that. Number one, her children are probably going to hear this. I mean, hopefully not, but they possibly could. Hopefully they're being sheltered from that. Secondly, why would she do that? I mean, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, you could say, well, she wanted to get the kids and disappear. Well, okay. Was it that you know, detrimental because I, I'm kind of looking at it like this guy was apparently controlled with money. So the family cut him off and he was sinking. So not to say that that ties to everything, but I just feel like they, her family had the money to kind of go at him through the legal court system and probably come out on top eventually. Um, but then I can't ever get around the evidence. I'm just like, well, why was there blood at her house? Why was there a cleanup attempt? And why were people throwing bloody stuff of hers away? And why did Fotis's, uh, you know, tampered with license plates end up in a gutter? And why are people that look like him and Michelle on video throwing these things away? You know, I mean, honestly, I mean, why? I mean, it just doesn't even make sense to me. So were they helping her disappear? You know, because I just feel like, I, again, I just feel like what his... Uh, attorney is going to go with is you can't prove that some of the video and then that's where you can get into well she hired somebody to go out and stage this and do that that's the only way they can get out of this in my opinion uh, as far as those specific charges. Now, they come up with more stuff, we shall see. They were bringing the search of the trash facility to an end, so let me just read it over an article real quick and talk about that. The New Canaan Police said Tuesday morning that the state investigators have ended their search at the Myra Trash Plant in Hartford. Um, investigators were there searching for evidence in the disappearance of Jennifer, as we all know. Um, they said the investigation story remains very active and involves dozens of investigators. And so essentially, the, you know, it's the next thing. So, I mean, really what we're going to have to do now is just kind of hang tight. They didn't find anything else there. So that evidence is kind of, you know, gone. So his side of the fence is probably hoping that nothing else comes to light. Someone somewhere knows something. And that's usually, in my opinion, how these cases work. Someone knows something and is being quiet for whatever reason. So whether justice comes to the surface now or later, I feel like... It it will happen eventually because it's too high profile and I just find like there's probably too many people that were involved in this situation when you have him and the girlfriend behind the scenes and this family I mean there's just too much that could be exposed if that makes sense and I feel like that will happen now there might be a breakthrough in evidence but hopefully somebody will come forward and say look I saw blank or I know this that will lead them in the right direction so that's all the updates that I have for right now on this I hope everyone out there and Sofa Land is doing well if you want to hang out with me on other social media platforms like Facebook Patreon Discord Twitter Instagram you name it you got it it's down below in the comment, not in the comment section, in the description. Uh, so thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. May you enjoy your week and day on the sofa, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.